The third round of the IRC series promised a titanic battle in the Intercontinental Rally Championship as the teams join leading crew Skoda UK Motorsport in a run around the circuit of Ireland. A newcomer to this championship, albeit one of the world's oldest rallies having been run for the first time in 1931, the event was keen to welcome fans of all ages and launched the rally with a spectacular blast past the recently opened Titanic Museum. With conditions pretty normal for this time of year, the crews were given a slippery start on the Belfast show stage, and it was third fastest for a cautious Andreas Mikkelsen, with co-driver Ulle Flerner back on his right-hand side, having shaken off a nasty bout of flu earlier this week. Stage two took the pair out onto the black stuff and the fast, bumpy tarmac country lanes near Armagh. After the drizzle, the surface was damp and testing, and despite turning in too late for one junction, the Skoda UK crew were fast enough to win the stage and take the rally lead by five and a half seconds. A 20-minute delay to stage three meant cold tyres for the longest stage of the event, and early into the 25.29 kilometres, Andreas clipped a fence post, but still, he was quick enough to be leading by 2.8 seconds overall. With darkness drawing in, a trip to service allowed the mechanics to prepare the Skoda UK's Fabia S2000 for a night out in Armagh. It's been a good start, uh, tricky conditions, a little bit damp and uh, dry on the second stage. So uh, overall it's been, it's been a good start, we're leading the rally 2 point something seconds in front of you all, so uh, very nice start. It's some black clouds coming towards the stage now. I think the question is if, if they will make it or if it's raining in those clouds, we don't know. So uh, it will be quite critical now, I think, to take the right uh, tire choice. So what we do now is, okay, SA20 in the boot. SA20 in the boot with yeah. full uh, guts. Yeah. And the SA01 with nothing on the ground. Yeah. So. For now, if you get some new weather report. Yeah. Then. yeah. Okay. Tire were at the tire eater before, but we didn't release the pressure. Okay. And put on some, uh, some, uh, yeah, so they don't uh, see what yeah. we have. Two more stages were scheduled to run in full darkness, with ten more to come in leg two. Not a time to be taking things to the limit, and it was a sensible push through stage four, third fastest, with Hugo Hananen and Miko Markula taking the stage win to edge in front of Mikkelsen and Flerner by just 0.6 seconds overall. But there was no chance to try and pull that back on day one with more delays leading to the cancellation of the final stage, stage five. But the crews will be back with the rain for leg two on Easter Saturday. There were 10 stages to cram in on day two of the circuit of Ireland and a great battle was in store at the front of the field with Skoda UK's Andreas Mikkelsen and co-driver Ulla Flerner just 0.6 seconds behind the Skoda Fabia S2000 of Juho Hananen and Mika Markula. With the weather always a keen topic of conversation in the Emerald Isle, the choice of tyre was the first big decision to make in the day. So for sure it will be and uh, we bring some uh, A01s. Yes and uh, maybe some 0 to 22 in the rear. Maybe two with a small cut front and two with a bigger cut rear. And the Skoda UK Motorsport team opted for the soft Michelin. Their rivals went for the harder compound. Into stage six and drama early on for Andreas who smashed his right rear wheel on the rock at full speed, destroying the rim, but no puncture for the tire. 
and still quick enough to take the lead. On stage seven, Hananen leapfrogged Mickelson, and an overshoot by the Skoda UK crew near the start of stage eight meant they had to reverse their Fabia S2000 before pushing on. In a bid to gain advantage on Hananen, the team chose the harder compound for the repeat run of the loop, as the surface hadn't been as damp as expected. Back on the stages, the target for Skoda UK Motorsport was to close down the leader. And on stage nine, Andreas and Ulla halved the difference, going 4.8 seconds faster than their rivals. And that was despite a rather hairy moment or two in the hedgerows. I risked my life for her to stay this turn five seconds. So. <laughs> on 10, there was just half a second between the two Fabius, Hananen a shade quicker. And on stage 11, Mickelson went to the limit, pulling out another 2.4 seconds to trail by just 2.3 overall. A fantastic competition for teams and fans alike. In the growing gloom, the cars returned to service in Armagh to prepare for the final push of four stages. And so, to stage 12, the shortest of the rally. And a heavy side-on collision with the hefty safety bales left the Skoda UK crew pretty dazed and confused. And in just one kilometer, they lost 43 seconds. It wasn't enough to drop them out of second place, but it handed Juho Hananen a great opportunity to take the win, and the Finn held on through the final stages to claim full marks and move up to second place overall in the IRC series behind the reigning champion and leader Andreas Mikkelsen. I, I think we, uh, we had a great weekend driving-wise. Uh, both myself and the team did a very good job. We had a good fight with Juho. Uh, he was having a fantastic weekend, so I take my hat off for him. Uh, we were second, it's a lot of points on the table uh, and uh, we're driving for the championship and it's a lot of good points and valuable points for us. Keep up to speed with Andreas and Ulla as they get ready for round four of the Intercontinental Rally Challenge in Corsica on Twitter, on Facebook and with skodaukmotorsport.co.uk.